everyone. So I wanted to make a quick vlog about cosplay. I get asked this question a lot um, via tweets and emails and everything else. But before I jump in on how to get started in cosplay, I just want to say three videos, one week dance party. Ooh, 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 ooh. I always do that dance when I win things and it's the most awkward dance. I always watch back like Sourcehood plays or head to head or whatever and I do that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, I don't know where I learned it, but it's the weirdest dance that I still do it every time. Maybe now I'll do like Spongebob. Um, that'll be my new victory dance. Okay, how to get started in cosplay. I get asked a lot. How do you jump in? People get kind of overwhelmed. They see like the yayas of the world who are killing it with cosplay and doing the most intricate, amazing costumes. And she makes it look like it's so easy. Like she falls asleep and she wakes up and then there's this awesome costume. And I'm just, yeah, it's so like intimidating. You're just like, oh, I could never do that. And I totally feel that way. I've been cosplaying for 12 years and I still totally feel like oh, every time I see one of her costumes. So uh, I have three quick tips to help you get started in cosplay. And before I get to tip number one, I will tell you how I got started in cosplay. I was a freshman in high school. Yep, freshman in high school. I was 14. A friend invited me to an anime convention and I said, heck yeah, I want to go. It was Ushikon 1 in Austin, Texas. It was this tiny convention. It didn't even really take up the whole, whole hotel. Um, it was awesome. I'd never been. I had no idea what to expect. And we got there and people were in costume. And I literally was just like, what? And I was totally sold. <laughs> and I've never looked back. Um, I just saw all the colors and I was like, gotta get in on this. It was awesome. So um, I get asked a lot, people who are like, how do I get started? What should I do? I don't know how to sew. I don't know how to make props. I can't afford contacts or wigs. It's okay. Cosplay, first and foremost, if I teach you anything in this vlog, it's that cosplay is about having fun. Have fun. Don't get worried about, oh my god, that girl's wearing the same costume as me and hers looks so much better. Who cares? You're having a good time. That's all that matters. And celebrate the characters that you love. If you don't love the character you're cosplaying, it is going to be such a drag. It's going to be not even that, like, oh, you're going to have such a bad time. I just mean that, like, when you get dragged down in the costume, when you're really working hard on it, it's not going to be as fun. It's going to be a lot easier to get frustrated. You don't have, like, that motivation that's really pushing you. Um, and actually, some of my favorite characters that I've cosplayed are simpler costumes. Um, Bulma Bunny is one of my favorites. And it's because I love Bulma so much. She's, like, one of my favorite anime characters of all time. Mostly because she's, like, really pushy and I totally... Totally, I'm really pushy. I don't know. She just pulls it off so well. Anyway, I really like her because I just totally see myself in her. And um, I think she's awesome. So I love cosplaying her. And even though her outfits are a little bit simpler or obviously ridiculous, like bunny outfits, um, I still have a really good time cosplaying her. So loving the character that you cosplay is very, very important. I think that was one of the three tips I was going to say. Okay, tip number one. Pick something within your skill range. I see a lot of beginning cosplayers who want to tackle super intricate costumes. And while I absolutely admire you reaching for the stars, be realistic. If you can't sew, you can't style a wig, you don't know how to make props, pick a costume that's going to kind of cater to that. Um, don't go out for like the biggest thing ever because what's going to happen is that you're going to find that you get really, really frustrated. And I see a lot of people quit before they even get started because they don't know where to begin. Um, they can't sew, they can't style a wig, whatever it is. They get so frustrated and they waste money because they're ruining materials or whatever um, that they never even get to enjoy it. So pick a costume that's simpler. Um, and even if the character you really want to do has like this crazy costume. Maybe a cool way to kind of get around that if you don't really have the skills is to come up with like a spin on the character that's original. So for instance, I saw a girl do a like a pinup-y Wolverine one year at Comic-Con. I thought it was so cute. And you could do that. You could do like a pinup version because corsets are something you can buy and alter to make that a little bit easier. Um, there are also a lot of characters that have um, outfits that are found, you can make out of found items. Um, Hiro Yui from Gundam Wing is a great one. Spandex shorts, tank top, work boots, done. Um, the Street Fighter characters, Ken and Ryu, have uh, geese. You can buy geese online. Um, I wouldn't suggest 
personally, I wouldn't suggest buying already made cosplay costumes because part of the fun is like, even if all you're doing is pulling the sleeves off a of gi, like you did that. And you made the little headband and you cut out that fabric and you did it. And that's awesome. So I wouldn't recommend buying a out of bag cosplay costume, but if you want to, that's totally your prerogative. I'm not gonna like hate on you for it. And um, so be realistic about your craftsmanship at the time and pick something that's within your range. I think a lot of people discount easier costumes because they think like they're not going to be as impressive but I think it's much much cooler when I see somebody take something that's kind of simple and like knock it out of the park as opposed to something that's really complicated that's done halfway. You know what I mean? So um, I think being realistic is a great thing. Tip two, I like totally tripped on those like <gasps> Tip two is <laughs> to learn something from each cosplay costume. So pick a focus for each cosplay costume and learn something new. For instance, if you can't sew, maybe your first cosplay costume is all found items. Then maybe your second cosplay costume is all found items that you've altered. So you're taking the time to alter whether it's to hand stitch or to machine, machine stitch. You're not creating the thing from scratch so you're not having to worry about patterns or anything like that. You're just taking something you already know kind of works, pulling it in a little bit, making it really sing. Then your third costume can be uh, maybe working with a pattern or um, maybe you're making a pattern for the jacket or you're taking, um, one thing I'd love to do is take items that already fit, I know they fit perfectly, and then rip those to shreds and make those your patterns. Um, that's a really good way to learn how to work with patterning and how to move into making your own patterns. Um, so those are just take baby steps, give yourself time to learn, but um, make something that you're really like pushing yourself on. Just don't push too hard, uh, but do make something about learning. Maybe the next time you don't know how to prop make, uh, make some earrings, you know, sculpt some earrings out of Sculpey and, and bake them. And that's like your first little step into um, prop making. And then maybe next time you make like a little, I don't know, a little dagger or something, like you sculpt something. And then you move into like Warbla, uh, which is another great thing, uh, great material. So it's all totally doable and uh, you should definitely push yourself. Tip number three, because I totally think it was pick a character you love because that's really important. Tip number three, I'm now making it, uh, look for help online because there are so many tutorials online for everything under the sun. You could literally be like as specific as you want. You could type in Pluto's key to time and somebody has a tutorial for how to make that or um, I was looking up um, the nodes for Evangelion and somebody had a little tutorial on how to make those. I mean, like, everything under the sun. Even if somebody doesn't have a tutorial for how to make that exact thing, they've definitely made it for another costume and somebody has linked that in a cosplay.com form for sure. Uh, Chun-Li uh, hair buns, those are like used in like seven different animes. So there are a bazillion tutorials for how to make that. Tutorials for how to make that. Tutorials. Uh, <laughs> so don't be afraid to Google search and find um, great tutorials on how to do things. One of the things I learned to do via tutorial that I haven't tried yet that I'm very excited to try is Sharpie dyeing a wig. I bought a white wig that I'm going to Sharpie dye and um, I'm excited to do that. And I learned how to do that via tutorial online. So don't be afraid to reach out for help. There's definitely somebody who's tackled the costume you're doing beforehand or if you're doing your own spin which I think is really fun um, there's somebody who's done something similar a craft that's similar that can totally show you what they did um, on the other side of that if once you get like if you try something and you're like man I'm really good at this or you make something and you're like man that came out really good take photos keep um, a track of your progress your progress I'm choking all over the place today Keep track of your progress because you can help other people too. And one of the greatest things about the cosplay community is that everyone is so helpful. And if they've done it, they'll show you how they did it. And if you do it and you do it well, show other people how you do it because it's cool. Um, so those are my three tips for how to get started in cosplay. Don't be afraid to fail. Don't be afraid to look at something and go, well, that sucks and throw it away because I do that all the time. And don't be afraid to rage cry because I do that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's really embarrassing. You have no idea how many times I've like started to sew something and my sh machine gets tangled and I pull the skirt out of the machine and I'm just like, Aah! 
and then I go back to sewing. I'm sure my neighbor thinks I'm being murdered right now. <laughs> Sorry. Um, anyway, so those are my tips for helping get started in cosplay. If you guys have any questions, don't forget to leave them in the comments down below. Like, subscribe, all that great stuff. And I saw some on my last video, some suggestions of what you guys would like to see on the channel, some gameplay, some stuff like that. Please feel free to let me know those things because I'm not really sure where the channel's going or if I'm going somewhere, if I'm staying where I am, if I should have a focus or if I shouldn't have a focus. And I would love to hear you guys' feedback because it's all for you guys, right? Um, okay, so that's it. I love you guys so much. Um, heart you and I'll see you later. Bye.